Welcome back to Sekiro, with me and my wife, Anni. Mush, mush. That, that's my name. I'm a Pokemon that owns as my wife's name. Marsh Marsh. Aww. <laughs> so in the last episode, we explored Mibu Village, or... Is this the village? Yeah, this yes. has got to be it. We explored Mibu Village a bit, and then ended the episode after just encountering the corrupted priest up here, which seems to be an apparition-type enemy. So, let's try the boss again. Also, I don't remember this person being here or talking to them. I don't know if they even were here before, so... Hey... Do you think it's the ghost that's playing the instrument over there that they've been hearing? Oh. <laughs> Hold on, Shamisen. Let me look that up, because I remember what their instrument looked like, that apparition. Shamisen. Yes, that is definitely it. Yeah. Yeah, so I think they're talking about that apparition. Then is this the person that they're looking for? Yeah, Sasuka. Uh, yeah. Sakuza. Oh. In that case, can I just, like, go over to them and just be like, Hey, I know where they are. Can I say where they are now? Oh, yeah. Is this the right way? This is the forward direction that I never went that takes me to them. Yes. Yes. I do know! I mean, I know. I think that's Lord Sakuza. Yeah. I guess I don't know for sure, but... Hmm. They're so close! They're just down the road! What if I say nothing? <sighs> Will they follow me to them? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's how you get the encounter. Will you come this far? What in? Over here. Oh, they left. Oh. Uh. Can I tell them oh, about them? God. No, but it seems like they keep moving along as I, like, make progress. So maybe if I keep doing stuff, they'll move closer or something? Because mm. they keep popping up. Further and further along, right? Oh, uh, I feel like maybe after you beat her you'll maybe see him again at some other place and he's gonna be like ooh no more music oh yeah they wouldn't hear the music anymore if I defeated them I don't know I don't want to do it just yet though Okay. just in case yeah I forgot how long I had to go to uh to get back to the corrupted priest I'll be right back okay I don't have any particular idea what to do for this priest, it seemed like they took a decent amount of damage, but I'm sure they'd take a lot more if I took a Divine Confetti. But I haven't fought them enough to feel comfortable using a consumable like that. So let's just attack him, and I'll try to scare him off the firecrackers. Okay. I deflected successfully deflected everyone in that in that like group of attacks and it did not do much to their posture. Yeah. So I think I definitely need to take their, down their vitality before I can really do anything to them. Yes. <laughs> the firecracker was surprisingly effective, by the way. Yeah. Like it just stunned them for a good two seconds or so. Alright, so I'm just going to try to get off some damage. 
Oh, that didn't do anything. Oh, what do I have here? Ichimanji double. Maybe Nitro Slash. that laughter. Me neither. Someone told me that if you don't choose a direction when you're using Mr. Raven Feathers, mm -hmm. you just go up. Huh. I'll demonstrate. Again, because it's kind of cool. Pew! Jesus. Do you think they're one face enemy? Hmm. I don't know if I can trust that. What do you think? I don't know, but I want to believe. Okay, so I thought I was doing a decent amount of damage, but now I definitely am not. I yeah. definitely need Divine Confetti, so I'm just going to practice a bit more on them. I'll just, like, try to deflect some more. Let's see how long I can deflect before I die. Oh, right. Ugh, my health is so low that my posture recovery is garbage. Yeah. So, actually, this is super hard. Um, oh, right. And let me resurrect. As somebody told me, apparently Dragon Rot doesn't spread just from having, uh, just from using a resurrection, but it spreads if you are forced to respawn at an idol, which I think breaks down to Dragon, Wa Dragon Rot will increase when either, either you choose to die or if you... It, you don't have any resurrections to use, so it forces you to then respawn at an idol. So in those two cases where you respawn back at an idol, that is what increases Dragon Rot. So it's actually a good idea to use your like free resurrection to then escape if you want to. Which I think is bad, actually. Because it doesn't really make any sense, because what we've been told story-wise is that basically using the power of resurrection and... Well, yeah, using the power of resurrection, making us come back, takes other people's life. Like, it drains a little bit of it from all the people around. And that's why they get sick the more I die. In which case, just using resurrection should do that. It shouldn't matter whether I respawn at an idol or not. But, apparently, that's how it is. Oh, I actually can't leave, though, can I? Uh, can you home bone home? Oh, it takes so long, though. Oh, yeah. I'll try. Mm. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I feel like I'm hesitantly ready to use the Divine Confetti. And I also want to use a sugar, too. And I'm not... I know I can't use two sugars at the same time, but I don't know if I can use a sugar and Divine Confetti at the same time. Or if it's only like one of anything can be applied and that's it. So 
Just in case one cancels out the other, I'm going to use the sugar first. Going to use the one that increases attack power. Then divine confetti. Let's see. Ah, yeah, it's stacked. You can see the little yes. icons in the bottom left. It's fine. Let's get the persist. That's not fine. To revival. Resurrection. Okay, that's not fine. Well, that's wasted. <sighs> the other enemy that I fought with Divine Confetti, the uh, Sinishan Warrior or something vaguely like that? Mm hmm. Uh, Grave Lord Nito? Yeah. They got easily stunned. This one doesn't. Yeah. And if I stay near them, it seems like they just. Like, they don't really let up. I have to just deflect constantly, and that's completely pointless when you have Divine Confetti. Yeah. Deflecting doesn't do anything. You need to do damage. So, I'm not sure what to do, actually. I feel like I need to play it more slow, but then, like, fuck, I'm burning Divine Confetti, you know? Yeah, like, I feel like, like, fuck, where do you get Divine Confetti? I feel like there should be, like, a place that maybe... There's just gonna be divine confetti a plenty, like there was that place that was like had like pacifying agent a plenty. Yeah, maybe there is. Well, I'm just gonna keep going, go as far as I can. If I run out, then I guess I continue somewhere else. Yeah. I'll try to stun them with firecrackers. Yes, 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 yes. That's exactly what you should be doing. Yes, yes, yes. Cause that'll give you like the chance to attack. Yeah, and then I'll use Ichimanji double, which hopefully will do a shit ton of damage. What? You want to use a Jumanji double? Go for it. Go for it. I will. <laughs> that was not a shit ton of damage. Yeah, that really wasn't. Stun him again. Ah, oh, fucking hell. Cool down on that, I guess. Yeah. I should use another one. If you did use another one, you would maybe get to halfway health. Hold on. I may have just realized something. What? No. No, never mind. I thought maybe only piercing attacks were doing damage, but the other ones are just kind of getting blocked sometimes. Oh. Uh. But, yeah, I don't think there's any super strong correlation between the type of attack and damage. I'm just hitting their shield. I need yeah. to do vitality damage. I guess I don't have to get them all the way down. I keep thinking I need to do that, but it's not the case. Probably yeah. halfway would be fine. Yeah, I think halfway is when you start healing slower. Alright, Ichimanji double is not a good choice. Yeah. 
So I'm just gonna keep practicing, I guess, is what this basically is. Yeah. Oh, I just remember that Night Jar Slash is just always vitality damage. It can't be blocked. Well, it's just blocked. Yeah, what the fuck? Doesn't it? Oh, oh, or was it the other one? Oh, I think it was the other one, actually. Which one? The Whirlwind, Whirlwind Slash. Oh, true. What about this one? Yeah, just the Whirlwind Slash. Okay, I'll try it. It totally seems like she just blocked everything. I think it did do. Like, they did block, but I think if you look at the vitality, I think it went down a little bit? It did, a tiny it bit. <laughs> a very tiny bit. I guess I'll keep just, like, poking him a little bit? Yeah. How do I avoid that? <laughs> oh, you're always halfway there. Or actually, I think they're already there. They're... Pelt, like, posture bars background is, like, a little bit red. I think that means slower healing. Well, I have no healing left, but I guess I should start to try to see if I can break their posture? Yeah. Maybe take the candy that reduces your posture damage? Yeah. Didn't do much. Yeah, you do kind of fuck all your posture, huh? You kind of think these bosses fuck. may be too, like, difficult for you. It might. Like, it seems so easy, right? Like, take Divine Confetti, I'll do shit tons of damage. It only needs to be posture broken once. But actually, it's really fucking hard. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, so until I have uh, a more reliable source of Divine Confetti, at least, or something more for Apparition-type enemies, I'm going to go a different way, because there's quite a few other ways to go. I'm going to continue in Main Hall at Senpo Temple. If you remember, we last got here by sneaking past a bunch of really hard enemies and sneaking past all these creepy centipede fuckers here. Well... I'm going to go sneak back to the hard enemies and take them on. Because I want to take them out and explore this place at least once over there. All the parts that I skipped. Look at all the lanterns move. Cool. I know there's someone who comes around this way. Yeah. Do you think they'll see me? <laughs> ah. 
That is very suspicious. The game is telling you actively. No, I do not want you here. Ah, oh, they're coming. <gasps> you can try over the corner. Kill. <clears throat> Yes! Hell yeah! First one ever! That is the first one ever, isn't it? Yeah. And you, like, pulled them behind a corner, so the other one just didn't notice anything. Yeah. Maybe. How good is their eyesight? <laughs> no way! If this fucking works... No! <laughs> no. Oh, thank God. Burn. Oh. Oh my god. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. Damn. Maybe you should try drawing the other one out with ceramic next time. Yeah, I was gonna say there isn't gonna be a next time, but there is. <laughs> I can see into the future. <laughs> okay. Really? really? Oh, can you do a... I don't know if they're gonna come this far, I hope. If not, I could throw another piece, like, right here. I guess, yeah. If this works, then I could take them all three out, stealthily. Mm. Actually, if they just start to walk back, then I could also take them out. Yeah. Hell yeah! Oh, and it didn't alert the other one. Yeah. I trained off camera a while ago to fight these, and now I don't even have to. <laughs> you can hear those weird ass noises too, right? Yeah, the crickets. Nasty. Bulging coin purse, that's a thousand. Oh. I guess that's how they make it worth it to kill these people. I guess so. And not just get past them, like you actually get something for it. God, video games are so cool. You really get to live your fantasy of killing rich people. <laughs> now, yeah, I fought them on the steps there. But this, I didn't get to explore. Beautiful. I know that place. That's where we fought the armored warrior. Yeah. And there's the bell up there. That was so cool. Good times. Yeah. Cool rhymes. Rip vines. <laughs> <laughs> did die. If I jumped into the pool of water, do you think I would die? Do you think it would like force me to die before I actually touch the water? I think so. Oh? There's no way this opens. What the fuck? Is that the same sculpture that I've already found? Yeah. Yes. Oh. I mean, is that going to still be open? Like, if I go and rest at the statue, the enemies are going to be, like, right here, aren't they? I guess I guess they won't see you unless you kind of go to the doorway. Yeah. Because they're, like, here. Er, wait, are they in the center here? I think they're... Over there? I don't know. <laughs> I don't, I don't know either. Oh, I want to see if I can keep chaining it back and forth and back and forth. <laughs> Silly wife. Mm. Ooh. It's 
beautiful. I don't know what the point of this is, though, other than the view. I mean, yeah, but wouldn't you want to show off this game design? Hell yeah. Is there somewhere else you can go here? No. No, I'm not seeing any grapple points or anything. Almost looks like an endless pit down there. Yeah. I want to test it. It's like a weird endless pit with a tree over it. Feels suspicious. And I'll just pop back up here, right? Probably. Look. Sometimes you do, sometimes you don't. And what is that? There's a radio tower at the top. <laughs> Suspiciously good technology. <laughs> <laughs> okay. There's that we're just basically filming the Truman Show Part 2. <laughs> the secular show. <laughs> It's a zombie. Oh no, it's one of the fire centipede things. Nasties. They're really easy to kill now that now you can do that. Yeah. I mean, they're pretty easy before, actually. This is a very cursed place I'm going into. Mm hmm. I think this warrants some rice. Should I go down? Can you pour it over the edge? Oh. Oh. Does anybody remember this from the first Dark Souls? A really, like, weird item that I don't think many people used? Ah. Uh, what were they? Were they the, like, screaming stones? Yes. You throw them over the edge, and if they... S what was it? If you hear them scream, does that mean it's not safe or it is safe? If you hear them scream, that means that you will die from dropping down. Yeah. What a weird item, but yeah. also cool. Oh, come on. Oh. Oh. <laughs> maybe if you jump down, maybe you should aim for that. What oh, fuck. <gasps> Didn't mean to do that. Went too far. Did your eyes ever make it down? No. No. The darkness ate my rice. <laughs> But I thought that rice was supposed to be inedible. Yeah. Hmm. I guess this way's gotta be forwards, right? Oh, shit. So, what's here then? Oh, I'm about to sneeze. <coughs> Excuse me. All these little details. Like there was a rope ladder here, but it broke. Yeah. Oh god. Oh god. Mm. What? Right there in the wall, directly ahead in front of me. Centipede thing. I can't see. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Yeah, I can't target it, but I'm sure it's gonna come alive. Oh, there's another one. There's. Th I see three. Fuck. Nasties. Let's top up prematurely. Actually, what if I take one of the, like, stealth things? Maybe I'll avoid their wrath? Maybe. I have a million of these. Yeah? Oh, 
See you. <laughs> I don't think there's anything down there I want, right? No. I, I can go kill those, though. That, that's no problem. I'm not being chased by the other things. Are they moving at all? They're not reacting. Are oh, they just, God. Like, dead? Or... Oh, that one looks special. Oh, yeah. But yeah, yeah, they're not moving at all. But there's a lot of them. Like, not just a couple. But like... Damn. 20 or 30 or 40. Ooh, blood no. comes out. But so they're not statues. No, they're definitely not statues, but they're dormant. Why are they all in this room? And then what's with this one? Looks like he shit some glowing. <laughs> it looks like they're squatting, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, it's pretty cool looking though, eerie. <laughs> but yeah, they're different than the rest. They look much more important, much more regal. I wonder who these people are. Something fun cursed. I have no idea where this is leading to. Is this forwards or backwards? What went the other way? Oh, the radio tower plays. Oh. Oh, sweet. That really does look like a radio tower. What is that? <laughs> Shit. It's blurry and too steep. It's just some kind of an ornament. Sometimes on roofs, people have ornaments. Yeah. 